Do you wanna hear about how the real world's a place for me? There's nothing out there won't look better on a TV screen There's a better way and I don't care what you say I just wanna play, we all just wanna play Things will be alright as soon as I get back to school Hey Eagles, I'm Jenna. And I'm Justice. And this is ETB. ETB. Hey Jenna, after this, do you want to go to Cabaret with me? What's that? Okay, let's just go to Justin and find out. And I'm Kelly. And this is What's, What's Trending. Trending. This week we're going to be talking about the election, Krispy Kreme, favorite to likes, and acapella. You know that I need you. Election day was on Tuesday, and if you didn't vote or you weren't registered to vote, make sure you do that because it's your right and duty as a citizen to vote. On Monday, Krispy Kreme reopened in Houston for the first time in nine years, and fans lined up on Westheimer. We should totally go get some. Okay, girl. <laughs> so Twitter is becoming more like Instagram. They changed their favorites, which was a star, to hearts, which are likes on Instagram, basically. No. So now Kelly can like her own selfies and retweet them. Yay! So there's been a new trending app called Acapella and people have been posting their videos on Twitter and getting a lot of likes because it's really funny and you can make your own song and sounds and music, so yeah. Hey. Hey. Okay. That's all for this week on What's Trending. Bye! Okay, Corin, what do you want to go get to eat? I was thinking Chick-fil-A. I'm kind of thinking Whataburger. No, uh... I'm feeling Chick-fil-A. Um, I think more people would choose Whataburger than Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is better than Whataburger, so... Bet. Bet. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Whataburger. Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Chick-fil-A. Whataburger. All the way 100. Whataburger. Chick-fil-A. Whataburger. Chick-fil-A. Whataburger, bro. Whataburger. Whataburger. Chick-fil-A. Oh, Whataburger for sure. Hey, Whataburger for sure. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A! 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 Think of licking! Chick-fil-A! 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 Whataburger! Chick-fil-A got it! Whataburger! Oh, Whataburger! Oh, no, I said Chick-fil-A got it! No! Chick-fil-A got two of them! Chick-fil-A! Chick-fil-A! Um. Chick-fil-A. I had Whataburger last night for dinner, so. Whataburger. Chick-fil-A? Me. Outback Steakhouse. Whataburger. Chick-fil-A. Hey Justice, have you seen this video? It's hilarious. No, show me. Oh my gosh, what? I wonder how other eagles feel about this. Yeah, let's get to us going to see how eagles react. I can't believe you call my You call my you call my I'm so bad. <laughs> Every elementary school whore. <laughs> Go away, Oscar. 
So bye Felicia. That was weird. Like what is what is this? That was weird. It was good. You liked it? Yeah. Do you think this uh person is better than Drake? I don't listen to Drake, so I can't say. Oh. Hey, this is Jay, and this is Jay Walking. Why I go on and ask what are you doing? Are you doing jaywalking again? Yes. Haven't you ever thought about, I don't know, spicing it up a little bit? Spicing it? I asked students questions that they should already know the answer to. What's more to spice up? Why don't you just ask teachers questions that students already know the answer to? Why don't you do that? Maybe I will. What will your segment be called? Crisscrossing with Kristen. Crisscrossing with Kristen? Yours is called jaywalking. Touche. You know what? Take it away. Hey guys, it's Kristen. This is Chris Crossing, where I go around asking teachers questions that they probably don't know, but us students do. Do you know how to dab? Dab? Yeah, always. Okay. Do it. Dab. <laughs> Thank you. This, yeah, like, I'm doing? dabbing something? Like, dabbing into this? Um, I know when you play bingo, you use a dabber or a dauber. What is dab? Do I know how to dab? Like the dance? Dabbing something? I don't know. It, it sounds like a crazy dance. I, I, honestly, I don't know. No. Tap? <laughs> no, I don't, know. I don't know how to tap. Dab. Um, is it a dance? Yes. Okay. Yes. I don't know what it is. Do you want to learn? <laughs> Pipe it up, 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 pipe it up. I walk in the club just to pipe it up. I stand on the stage and I pipe it up. Get a regular till I pipe it up. Buy a bando and I pipe it up. Pipe it up, 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 pipe it up. I walk in the club just to pipe it up. I stand on the stage and I pipe it up. Get a regular till I pipe it up. Buy a bando then I pipe it up. Quavo. It's pumpkin spice season here at Starbucks, and as a barista, I can tell you how much people love the stuff. I got a chance to bring in a few friends to see what all the fuss is about. Let's go see what they thought of everything. I don't even know how coffees work. I don't even know what this is called. Let's try this. <laughs> I like the color of it. Very orange. It's, yeah, it's very Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of pumpkin. I would not I would not get this again, but interesting. Mm, I love it. Ten. Seven. <laughs> or maybe that's being nice. I'll give it a five. I mean it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's kinda sweet. Don't like the sweet much. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? Um Pumpkin spice latte. Mm. I, like a, I like it a little, little like bit better. I like it better too. Yeah, I like it better than the <laughs> uh, cold one. I'll give it an actual seven this time. Ten. <laughs> now give me one of those iced coffees and I'll, that'll get you an eleven out of ten. <laughs> a scone? And it looks burnt. <laughs> Break apart. What? <laughs> oh gosh. Mmm, mmm. That's good. I actually don't mind it. It's not bad. No, not my favorite. Well, for the looks, I would give it a two. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I guess it's 
It's like a four. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I, I would personally give it like a six. Mm -hmm. I would eat it, you know, if I had to, which which I kind of have to right now <laughs> for this. What did the tree say to Autumn? Leave me alone. What did one autumn leaf say to another? I'm falling for you. What's a tree's least favorite month? September. What's the ratio of pumpkin circumference to its diameter? Pumpkin pie. Hey Jenna, isn't cross country going to state? Yeah, but I don't know when, so let's go to Matthew and Christian to find out more. Hey Eagles, I'm Christian. And I'm Matthew. And this is ESN. Monday, our Lady Eagles went into the playoff confident as ever. Facing the North Shore Mustangs, they defeated them in each set and will advance to the second round of playoffs. Great job, ladies. It's going to be a tough road, but we're going to be supporting you all. Tuesday, November 10th, swimming will be hosting a dual match against Clear Springs. It will also be senior night, so come out and support as we honor the seniors for all their hard work and participation. Varsity Girls recently competed at South Shore Harbor in Clear Lake. And good luck to the boys competing in Deer Park this week. After regionals, Abby Harrelson, Darby Gunn, and Matthew Murray survived the fight. They were competing at state this Saturday. We are proud of each and every one of you. Good luck and bring home the state title. This week, our football team had a chill bye week. But congrats for advancing to playoff. Today, we will determine if we play either Channelview or Laporte. Now, let's go see what Coach Carter thought about our last regular season game and how he feels about going to playoffs. I thought the game went well. I thought our kids played hard and uh, concluded the season well, uh, did what they were coached to do, and uh, didn't overlook them and were ready to push on to the playoffs. I feel good. I think our kids are excited. I think we've got a good team. Um, I think we have a good plan for whoever we might play, and, and we'll see what happens. My team of the week is the 7-0, still undefeated, Carolina Panthers. They battled the Indianapolis Colts on a rainy Monday night. At one point, it looked like the Panthers were going to lose their perfect record, but Cam Newton and the offense continued to fight in overtime to set up Graham Gano to kick a game-ending field goal, and the Panthers would remain undefeated. My team of the week goes to the Miami Hurricanes with a spectacular comeback play. At the end of fourth quarter, clock at 0-0, Miami uses an 8 lateral kick return for a TD to upset number 22 Duke. An unbelievable victory was given to Miami with a score of 30 to 27. Ah, boy, boy, boy. That's all we have this week, Eagles. See you next time on ESN. That's all we have for you this week. I'm Justice. And I'm Jenna. And this has been ETV. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. I need a ball. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and Pepper and Heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Mama always told me my shoes <laughs> take me anywhere. <laughs> Wings yet, baby. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Loodle. Uh, 
What we need up in here is a good old-fashioned food fight!